you are not gonna want to miss Pokemon Go in July. We got Pokemon Go Fest New York, Pokemon Go Fest Global. They're giving away free Ultra Beasts. We have a three-part Ultra Unlock. I have a special announcement. Here we go. Let's talk five-star raids. There's so many of them. We have Ho-Oh in raids till July 7th, then Guzzlord for a day, then Nihiligo for a day, then a day of Celesteela or Kartana, then a day of Stack Attack or Blacephalon. And for the weekend of Go Fest Global, on day one, we have Nihiligo, Buzzwool, Feramosa, Zerkatry, Celesteela, Kartana, Guzzlord, Necrozma, Stack Attack, and Blacephalon all in the same day. And then on day two, we have for the first time ever Duskmane and Dawn Wings Necrozma in raids. That's gonna be epic. That is where you get your Necrozma encounters, and more importantly, that's where you get energy to fuse your Necrozma. After the craziness of Go Fest Global, Articuno is in raids for a week until July 23rd, and then the incarnate form of Tornadus until August 3rd. So many Pokemon and five star raids, it's gonna be crazy. Not only do we have Go Fest New York and Global in July, but we also have the Aquatic Paradise event, the inbound from Ultra Space event, which we're gonna talk about right now, that is insane. We have Go Fest Global, and then the Ultra Unlocks come. And you guys know these Ultra Unlocks events, based off the last couple of years, are crazy. We get some epic, epic shinies, epic bonuses. We have Ultra Unlock Part 1, then we have July Community Day, which has been announced as Tynamo, a very nice shiny family, a new shiny, I'm down for that. And then Ultra Unlock Part 2 and Ultra Unlock Part 3, which is gonna be a mega raid day. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awesome. They just dropped the details for this inbound from Ultra Space event. You get a bunch of free Ultra Beasts, so we're gonna talk about this right now. It starts on Monday, July 8th, and ends on Saturday, July 13th. Now in raids, which we kind of discussed already, we have Guzzlord for a day, Nihiligo, then Celesteela, Cartana, yada, yada, yada. You guys can read all of that. We talked about it. Exciting stuff, but check this. A timed research that will reward you with Nihiligo, Buzzwool, Feramosa, Zerkatry, Celesteela, Cartana, Guzzlord, Stack Attacka, and Blacephalon. All of those Pokemon for free. It does not mention this is a paid time research, so it seems to be free, and that is a massive W for all the free-to-play players out there, and for everybody out there. We get free one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine Ultra Beasts, man. A lot of which are shiny eligible. Some for the first time ever. Don't forget, Shiny Buzzwell makes his Pokemon Go debut. That is gonna be epic. We also have the recently released Shiny Zerkatry, Shiny Feramosa. That's gonna be awesome. But here's the bonuses for this event. Remote Raid Pass limit increased to 20 from Monday, July 8th. So the Monday after GoFest New York, all the way to Thursday, July 11th, you can do 20 remote raids a day. And for the weekend of GoFest Global, there is no remote raid pass limit. Ladies and gentlemen, raid your butts off. Hope you guys enjoy the crazy amount of raids that you're able to do during the weekend of GoFest Global. It's gonna be awesome. It'll be just like old times. Make sure you guys enjoy it. Don't go too crazy, but have a good time for sure. And then this last bonus is awesome. Trainers are guaranteed to receive XL candies for trading Pokemon during that entire week of GoFest from New York to Global. Enjoy that bonus. XL candies, as you guys know, one of the most important things to get in the game. And they're gonna be guaranteed for each trade that is hundreds of trades. Make sure you get it done. On top of all that, you could also buy another timed research for $5 USD and in which you get a bunch of bonuses, 5,000 XP additionally for completing raids, two times dust for Ultra Beast raids, one additional candy for catching Pokemon from raids, that's really nothing, one additional XL candy from five star raids is nice, two free raid passes from spinning gyms, that'll be for each day of this event, so you're pretty much getting your money right back, I love that, and you get the following rewards, 10 Cosmog candy and five XL candies for Nihiligo, Buzzwolf, Feramosa, Zerkatry, Celesteela, Kartana, Guzzlords, Takataka, and Blacephalon. Oh my gosh. Epic stuff right there. Not to mention 2,000 Stardust and a Star Piece. All for $5. That is a great deal, man. You get a bunch of free raids, a bunch of goodies. If you guys are raiders, if you guys love to raid, definitely worth it for sure. And don't miss this at the bottom. New Pokemon backgrounds debut. There's going to be new special backgrounds for Ultra Beast caught from Ultra Beast raids. Similar to the location cards that we have in Pokemon Go already. That's going to be awesome. There's also going to be a global challenge that week, which rewards us with Ultra Beast balls in the game. I do 
don't really understand why we get that because Ultra Beast Balls, to my knowledge, don't have any difference but cosmetic difference. So yes, it's cool, but why do we have to unlock that? I feel like it should just be a part of the Go Fest and Ultra Beast festivities. Whatever, Global Challenge is happening too. Now, speaking of Go Fest festivities, I have a special announcement. I'm officially attending Pokemon Go Fest New York. I wouldn't miss it. It was an absolute blast last year with all the epic moments and epic adventures we had. I was pretty sad about missing Pokemon Go Fest Japan, and then I missed Pokemon Go Fest Madrid. I was not going to miss Pokemon Go Fest New York. We're here, baby. It's going to be a blast. Pokemon Go Fest has been so important for myself and this YouTube channel. I feel like all of my epic adventures have been so infamous and historic to my lore, to this channel's legacy that we have to run it back. There was no way I was going to miss Go Fest. It's my favorite part of the year. I've had some epic adventures over the years. We're running it back. And with a special announcement on top of that, I will be doing a meet and greet for all three days of Pokemon Go Fest New York, just like last year. I'll be in the afternoon session so you guys can do meet and greets with me. We'll take pictures, autographs, trades, all that good stuff, whatever you guys want to do. Have a conversation. I had such a great time last year meeting you guys from all around the world, hearing about your Pokemon Go Fest experience, your Pokemon Go careers. It was awesome. So we're running it back Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pokemon Go Fest New York meet and greet is official, and I will see you guys there. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be there. I hope to see you there. Anyways, back to the July content. In Mega Raids, Mega Swampert returns. Has it been a while? I feel like it's maybe been a while for Mega Swampert. And then Mega Aggron is back again for the last week or so of July. Cool. Also, in Shadow, legendary raids throughout the weekends in July, Shadow Entei returns. Listen, I don't have that Shadow Shiny. I would love to get some more Entei candy, so Shadow Entei is a W for me. I'm cool with that. And because there's thousands of five-star raid Pokemon, we have a lot of raid hours, which are not only on Wednesdays. Check this out. We have Ho-Oh on Wednesday, July 3rd, but then Guzzlord raid hour on the 8th, Nihiligo raid hour on the 9th, Celestila or Cartana raid hour on the 10th, Stack Attack of Bacephalon raid hour on the 11th, Buzzwole, Feramosa, and Zerkatry raid hour on the 12th, Articuno raid hour back on Wednesday, July 17th, and then Tornadus on the last two Wednesdays of July. So many raid hours, so many raids. And speaking of hours, we can't forget about spotlight hours. We have the costume Pikachu on July 2nd. That is going to be awesome. Sfeel, Binacle, Diglett, and Alolan Diglett, and then Togedemaru. Very nice. That should be exciting. And I can't forget with all the GoFest talk, fusions are going to be available for the first time ever for people like myself who didn't attend the in-person GoFest and for everybody watching for GoFest Global. So fusions are going to be epic. I can't wait to do that for the first time. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss the GoFest adventures. You know they're going to be crazy. I know that was a lot, but it's going to be awesome. Cannot wait. And one last check-in on this shiny Larvesta hunt. I've been hatching a lot of eggs. No luck just yet. I just want to check these last two research checks just in case maybe we get something on camera. Okay, no luck there. Never mind. Still got some more hours left in this event. I have been hatching a lot. Let me grab some more eggs real quick right here. I'm going to continue to hatch. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed I get that Shawnee Larvesta because if I don't get it now, I'll just never get it. Let's be real. I don't want to be negative. Maybe I will get it, but it will take a, it'll take a long time probably. It's, it's not easy. Let me know in the comments if you guys have got any luck with that. I'm still trying. So yeah, like I said, you don't want to miss Pokemon Go in July. It's probably going to be the best month of Pokemon Go for the entire year. Who knows what those Ultra Unlocks are going to hold, by the way. You can only imagine it's going to be amazing. They've been pretty epic in the past. And you know what else is epic? My last couple of videos. Make sure to check them out. I promise you guys will enjoy them.